April is here with the first ever coronavirus thriller. Everyone is going insane over Tiger King and oof, most of the summer premieres are canceled. But I promise you there will be some positive news as well and I bet you'll love it. As it includes an inspiring update from Tom Hanks, hilarious self-isolating dances from Jack Black, and some really steamy premieres. My name is Zach and this is our weekly movie news home edition. Let's dive in. It's happening. The first coronavirus thriller is ready to be released. Virus going around in this building? I didn't know there's a coronavirus in the building. Canadian director Mostafa Kishvari shot the movie named Corona when the virus was only a local Chinese issue. Corona follows six neighbors who are stranded in their building's elevator when they discover that one of them is infected with COVID-19. The director wanted to explore the fear and racism among the trapped tenants. And whether he succeeded in that or not, you can find out pretty soon as the indie thriller is already edited and ready to be released. I think we're all being tested. Unfortunately, the virus has impacted one of the most sacred things. No, I don't mean Tom Hanks. I mean that because of COVID-19, the premiere of Stranger Things season four is officially rescheduled. No, God, please, no, no! We were expecting new episodes in early 2021, but now with suspended production, the release date is pushed back. Other devastating delays include the Spider-Man spin-off Morbius, the new Ghostbusters movie, and Uncharted with Tom Holland. And on top of that, the 10th season grand finale of Walking Dead will be released separately, much later, but still hopefully this year. But hey, as I promised, there is some positive news as well. The most beloved Hollywood couple, Tom Hanks and Rita Wilson, have safely returned to the US feeling much better. The pair thanked everyone for their kind wishes and are continuing to practice social distancing at home. Wait, I have even more pleasant updates. The stars of Scrubs and real life best friends Zach Braff and Donald Faison have created a hilarious comedy podcast where they relive the hit TV show. Each week, the besties will discuss an episode of Scrubs, sharing behind the scenes stories and no doubt, it'll be anything but boring. The first episode is out and the following ones will be released every Tuesday. Enjoy! Another pleasant surprise is about the spooky Contagion movie that started creeping its way back onto the iTunes charts. Turns out the cast of Contagion got together for a virtual reunion to give some valuable announcements. Matt Damon, Lawrence Fishburne, Kate Winslet, and Jennifer Ale appeared in the videos talking about key tactics that will help slow the spread of the coronavirus. All of the advice given by the stars was specially written by the medical experts who consulted with the director, Steven Soderbergh, during his filming of Contagion. If you are young and healthy, you might think that this is no big deal because you've heard that this virus is nothing more than a bad cold for you. And that is not true, spring breakers, okay? Almost 40% of the people hospitalized in this pandemic are under 55. What Matt Damon and the gang did was a serious way to deliver some important piece of advice. But there's another way too. Here's how Jack Black is promoting self-isolation. This is what happens when the 50-year-old Jack Black creates his own TikTok account. But oh boy, he did so much more via his Instagram posts. Just look at his slow-mo catwalks. They are just perfection. Here's another one with his cowboy cardio inspired by his addiction to the computer game Red Dead Redemption 2. And I'm sure we will get more of his wonderful quarantine dances next week. Friends star Courtney Cox also tried to entertain all of us during this tough time of staying at home. She and her dearest daughter Coco sang a cover of Hamilton's Burn and it's quite touching. The moment I read them I knew you were mine, you said you were mine. The Office star John Krasinski also tried to spread some cheer. He was so sick and tired of depressing coronavirus updates that he launched his own YouTube channel dedicated only to good news. Krasinski collected the most heartwarming stories from around the world that truly restore our faith in humanity. Enough is enough, world. Why not us? Why not now? I'm John Krasinski, and if it isn't clear yet, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. And if you think the good news is over, I am going to prove you wrong. 
What about some hilarious Twin Peaks memes about social distancing? One Instagram user, Sad Peaks, found a creative way to remember the rules that will keep you safe. After touching your face, remember to practice social distancing, wash your hands, and enjoy not wearing pants. Well, just, you know, because you can. One more quarantine savior is there for you, trying to make your days at home at least a little more entertaining. Streaming services have announced a number of titles that will be added in April. And believe me, there's more to watch than just Tiger King, which, by the way, has beaten all records and is the number one show in the US on Netflix. What is it about this docu-series that makes it so popular? Is it because of the freaky mustache man? His shocking story? I sincerely don't get it. Please share your thoughts with me about the series in the comments, and perhaps I'll finally understand the appeal of Tiger King. Still, there's a lot more to find on Netflix the following week. One of the hottest premieres is for sure the fourth season of Money Heist. In case you're not familiar with this one, I do think you should check out the previous seasons. It has everything action, drama, and a heartbreaking love story. Eight thieves take hostages and lock themselves in the Royal Mint of Spain while their criminal mastermind manipulates the police to carry out his plan. It's really dynamic and will most probably provide amusement in these self-isolation days. And if you're more into time-tested classics, streaming services have a lot to offer. Starting from April, Netflix will entertain you with all three installments of The Matrix, Amazon Prime will have Rambo, Last Blood, the James Bond films, Will Smith's timely post-apocalyptic thriller I Am Legend and The Bodyguard, Hulu is calling you to rewatch Risky Business, Zombieland, and this year's best Oscar picture winner, Parasite. Disney Plus is finally ready to show you the kindest and funniest new animated feature from Pixar onward. And HBO is giving us the chance to rewatch the very best of Bruce Willis in his Die Hard installments. By the way, Bruce Willis is back once again, this time with Lion Gate's thriller Survive the Night. In this drama, he plays a doctor, but don't worry, he will still find a way to kick some bad guys' asses. Plus, one hell of a teasing appetizer for diehard fans of Rick and Morty is out there for your pleasure. The Adult Swim posted a promo video where poor Morty is a character in an anime video game played by multiple identical Ricks, and of course it didn't end well for the kid. While the new season will be released only in May, these couple of minutes make the waiting a bit easier. What other news would you love to hear in our weekly overview? Let us know in the comments, and stay safe, stay home, and as always, stay awesome.